See, I totally lied. I made one more. <laughs> it's so fun. Hi, welcome to the house of Valentina. Today we are styling up the sofa for spring. And I thought, well, I can show you one look or I could show you five. So today I'm gonna show you five different looks, five different ways that you can style up your sofa for the spring. So we still have cozy, wonderful textures, but we're really mixing velvets and linens and cottons. And I think that you're going to really enjoy this video. So. Let's jump in. As you can see, I'm starting out with a really good base. I love a neutral sofa. Having a neutral sofa really gives you endless options for your pillows. It really gives you endless options for your pillows, for your throws, and basically the rest of the room can just be built around this. I love this idea of a capsule home and how you can have these good, classic basic pieces that will last you for years and all the trends can come and go but you have the same sofa so this is the Tallulah from Pottery Barn it's one that I really love it's so comfortable our family just adores this sofa I've also got a great classic side table here I actually found this one at Target it's just a simple little piece got a beautiful classic lamp. You can see I love to have these good basics that I can move from space to space or they can stay right here in this room and I can change everything out around them. Let me show you one of my favorite pieces that's going to go with everything that I plan to add to this space. I just found this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous base at Pottery Barn. I love the beautiful crackle finish that it has on it, and it looks amazing with these camellias that I just clipped out of my garden, or yard, as so many of you like to call it. But you know what? This is my suburban yard, and it's my garden too. So I've got these. No room is complete without a signature fragrance, and right now we are Oh, obsessed with this champagne candle from Lavco. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's got some grapefruit in it. It has that citrusy spring-like feel and it makes me always wanna eat oranges <laughs> or grapefruit <laughs> when it's burning and have a glass of champagne. I mean, really just can't lose with this one. Got some matches to be able to light this up and make the room smell so good. For our first look, we've got this absolutely beautiful black and white chevron with a tassel throw. So I'm gonna take this one and put it over the arm this way because I really wanna be able to see all that beautiful texture playing off of the simplicity of the sofa. I've got these beautiful velvety ones that I actually found at Target and those are gonna go here. So we're gonna throw one of these over here in the corner. Always make sure that your zippers are facing down. And then we've got this beautiful velvet that is from Pottery Barn. And you're gonna see these in two colors today because these are my favorite. And we're just gonna pop these in here. And you don't have to do the massive karate chop. You can just kind of fluff it a little bit and give it a little tuck. And that is enough to make it feel comfortable and approachable. Now we're gonna do the other side. There's something about spring that puts me in the mood, in this mood for a little bit of romance and this lace pillow, it's just the thing. So I'm gonna place it right here down the center. It's the centerpiece, it's the, the queen of the arrangement and now it just feels so cozy and you just wanna sit down on the sofa and enjoy yourself. That's exactly what we want. about you but it seems like every time spring rolls around even though I love to have a very monochromatic very neutral calm home it always seems like around this time I start craving color so I've got this incredible set of pillows these are from Pottery Barn and they look like a Chanel tweed jacket no joke like it looks like my jacket and I love these so much and they're really soft and I've got these little velvet ones. I just think that a clean, this is actually not white. And my sofa's technically not white either. It's a very off-white 
slightly almost ivory color, but I love this color because it's very durable and these are the same exact cushions that I was using before in that mocha color. So again, good basics like this, they'll just last you for so long and you can just mix them up season after season. So we're gonna start with these blue ones maybe in the back and if you notice, I'm also playing with scale. These are actually the same size, whereas if you noticed before, we had one that was a little bit bigger. So you can really play with scale as well as color and texture. Here I'm adding a third color to the mix, and this is the, oh, the most amazing teddy bear blanket. You guys know, if you've stayed for a minute on this channel that you know I love these blankets. They're so soft on the back, and this is the one that we're all fighting over when we go to watch TV in this room. So I know that this is gonna be a huge success, and I could fold it and make it look really, uh, you know, formal, except I think I'm gonna go more casual. And I just like for the bottom to look a little bit casual and have a little bit of the point showing down there at the bottom. And I just kind of scrunch it a little bit and then poke these a little bit and, you know, just make it look like it just happened. It just woke up like that. <laughs> That's what it is. We want it to look like the sofa just woke up like this. Time, we're actually gonna bring in this plaid throw, which I got from Amazon and it's one of my favorites. It comes in two colorways and I own them both. Actually, it comes in five colorways, but I own the white one as well as this one. And oh, I'm so tempted. It could be just as easy to just throw it over the top and leave it like that. We could do that. But I feel like it's gonna need a little something. It needs a little more of something. Okay, so I really love how casual this feels. Let's throw this one back over the back this time. You kind of bring it down to the front. I absolutely love this cushion from Pottery Barn. They are so soft and they are backed with Sherpa. So that is a crowd pleaser anywhere you're gonna go. And then you don't want it to be too serious feeling either. You can definitely kind of make them a little bit messier you want this more casual kind of look. Look at all that Sherpa. It is so soft and fluffy. And you could just lay this one this way or you could lay this one this way, but we are just gonna take it casually down the center. got a blank canvas again and I'm bringing in yet another of the favorite teddy bear blankets this one being green and we're gonna play up a little bit more of this army green kind of color we've got the green fig and we've got the green on the greenery here so a little bit of green is gonna make it look really fresh in here and still spring like so I'm gonna bring in some creams maybe a little bit of lace I haven't decided yet let's play and see what we end up with love this look <laughs> This is always one of my favorites. And I always try to not have it dragging on the floor because I like the way that it kind of just dangles down. So here you can see I'm bringing in these Belgian linen pillows and these are amazing. These are 24 by 24, so they are humongous, humongous. And I have put a 26 by 26 filler in them and I just want to give them a good, amazing fluff. But these are meant to feel a little bit more Casual. You don't always have to have even cushions on both sides. So here I'm bringing back the Francesca lace and I'm adding it in front of this one. And you can see how we've got lots of scale here, but they don't have, both sides do not have to match. Let me show you. I always take a little step back so I can see if I like what I've done here. I notice that this side feels very heavy. So what I'm actually going to do is switch this guy over to here. So now we've got something heavy and then a little bit of heaviness over here and we've actually added a little bit of balance to the entire thing. What do you guys think? Does it annoy you that there's unevenness or do you like a little bit of asymmetry? Let me know down in the comments.
It wouldn't be the House of Valentino without a good solid punch of black and white monochrome. So I'm going to show you bringing back that beautiful throw from earlier. We are going to unfold it and we've got, this is actually reversible. And I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, my temptation is to show you this side, but I just can't help myself because I just love this side so much. So we're going to give you a casual look. It's black and white by again, just throwing this kind of over the top, bringing this down, make sure you get all that beautiful fringe. Now the tag is on that side. So I really just need to cut that off, but instead for now, I'm just going to tuck it under. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> We're bringing back in our hero Belgian linen. You could turn these to the side and have them more casual, but I think for this one, we're just going to go for like a classic Valentina look. I have snuck in my all time, absolute favorite black leather pillows. I should be buried with these. I love them so much. <laughs> now these don't move so much. And what that does is that it adds some structure here to the look. And I, for one, love the great structured look. And you are allowed to show your personality in however you fluff them, whatever color you choose, whatever texture you choose. All these things display your personality and make the space feel like you. So definitely think through, and maybe play around a little bit until you really discover what your style really is. And you might change your style from like season to season or even week to week. All those things are completely fine and allowed. <laughs> I was supposed to stop at five looks, except that I'm having so much fun that I just wanted to play a little bit more. So I'm gonna give you one more bonus one. And I think this is one that you guys are gonna really enjoy as well because it's very different. In fact, I'm like, ooh, should I show you one more? Okay, no, I got to stop. <laughs> I could do this all day. This is what I love so much. It's just so much fun, isn't it? To just go into your stash and see what you have. I've added a couple new ones, like these white velvet to my stash now, and I just know that these are gonna be ones that I'll just use over and over. And it's just so much fun because you can mix them up from room to room and just create so many looks with just a few really great basic things. It really does play to the whole idea of that capsule home. So you guys let me know if you love that. Now what I've done here is that I've created a very formal look. So as you can see here, what I've done is that I've stacked the white and these beautiful embroidered pillows that I got actually from Morocco. And I just love that it brings a little bit of pattern, but it's still very formal and very modern. I personally just need some coziness with every single look. So I've got the teddy bear blanket back out and I'm going to throw this casually over the corner here to just give it a little bit of casualness. I still think that even when it's modern, I want it to feel really cozy and I want it to feel really inviting. totally lied. I made one more. <laughs> it's so fun, isn't it? I just can't help myself. Look, I've got some flax and some velvet and some leather. It's delicious. No matter what your style is, I think it shows that just with a few really great basic pieces, you can just play over and over. And this was just with one vase. What if we had changed out the vase? And we didn't even play with the coffee table yet. And let me know if it inspires you to see lots of different things and which one out of all of these is your favorite. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun. I, even now I'm like, oh man, there's so many other looks I could do. I just could keep mixing all day long. What about black and white with a little bit of blue? <gasps> There's so many looks. So once you have these great classic pieces, once you start building your capsule home, you can put all the pieces together to really create something that's beautiful, but it never
never really, you never really tire of it because there's so many different ways to mix those things up. So thank you again for joining us. I will make sure to include all the links to the items that I've included in today's video down in the show notes so you can click and go find those items if you're interested. Don't forget to hit subscribe because we have got tons more tips, tricks, and room makeovers coming your way very soon. And if you want sneak peeks in between, make sure you go visit us at Instagram. We have two accounts there, the House of Valentina and Valentina Fussell, where we get to show you loads of sneak peeks of our family and our business in between the videos. So thank you again for stopping by. And I think it's about coffee time, so I am going to go and, uh, you know, sit and chill and enjoy the space. See you guys in the next one. Bye. I think we need coffee. I think so too. You wanna to make us a cup of coffee? In just a second, after we just rest our eyes for just a second. Only a second. Just a second. <laughs>